Hey gamers, the Red Dragon here along with Spoon, and we are working on the Splinter Cell Conviction Perfect Hunter achievement. In order to get this achievement, you have to make it through a level of Hunter without being detected. Now you're going to notice that whenever possible, we're going die. to take down enemies by hand uh, to pull up as many mark and executes as we can. Now as we go along this video, we're going to also give you a lot of tips that will help you in other... Uh, Splinter Cell uh, Conviction game types. So it, uh, these tips aren't just used for Hunter mode. That's right. Yes, real. Tango's lined up and ready to be delivered. Yeah, we always get it on the first shot. Target gets acquired. We did this the other day. Me and Spoon ran through it and had no trouble whatsoever. But then when we tried to uh, record here, we're having all kinds of issues. But uh, we're feeling it on this one. Yeah. Uh, one thing you always want to do is collaborate with your teammates. Um, even if it's a random and he's not talking back, say something. He might hear you over his TV, or he might just not be talking to you because he has a silly voice. For example. <laughs> Me and Red were both individual ninjas, so I don't, we don't even need to talk. We can, we can give you guys advice while we can do this without collaborating anything. But I know that in the area that he's at, he might have trouble with that turret over there. So what I'm going to do since I'm over here is disable the turret. Um, Archer, I have yeah, the turret. disabled. Now it just looks cool in the corner, but it's not going to hurt anybody. Um, so, but in general, you want to collaborate with your teammate as much as possible. Uh, even if, especially if you don't know the guy, uh, because randoms, are called random for a reason. One thing that's really important when you're playing with a partner, or even by yourself, is to mark enemies to whenever possible. Even if you don't have a mark and execute, uh, you uh, that's one way of keeping track uh, of the enemies no matter where they're at. And also, there's a lot of instances where um, we'll come around and I'll be I'll be moving and I won't know a guy's right behind me but Spoon will have spotted him and because of that it will save us a lot of trouble and headache yeah I save lives that's what I do <laughs> um, yeah like you were saying the mark and execute is extremely important uh, even if you don't have the execute part of the mark and execute available uh, simply because oh watch that must kill you kill um, simply because <laughs> <laughs> He's going to try to get to um, him for you. Uh, simply because of the fact that, like he said, you will see people, without using your sonar, you'll be able to see people pretty much. You'll know if a guy's coming up on you. And if, if you do have the execute available, and the guy walks around the corner and spots you in that one split second of, oh, shit, oh, crap, um, then you can just press Y, and you just save yourself a headache and execute yep. him in the face. One thing that you have to be aware of is... Uh, if you're if you're going for the perfect hunter achievement, you cannot alert the enemies. Now, the way that you know if you have alerted an enemy or not is if they're if they call in reinforcements. So, in order to keep them from calling in reinforcements, um, you have to do hand to hand contact, mark and executes, or you can put a bullet in their head. Now, as you see right there, it popped up on my screen for a split second that I it had a warning that I was detected. Uh, but as long as they don't call in reinforcements you're still good to go on the achievement so be sure if they detect you you may have a couple of seconds in order to uh, take them out before they call in reinforcements you always want to be sure that you're using uh, the natural light to your advantage moving around in the shadows whenever possible now whenever I first started I was I had a huge issue with shooting out lights because I thought, well, that's what Sam does. He shoots out lights and then he <laughs> runs around in the dark uh, because people can't see you in the dark. But uh, Spoon has uh, led me to the light, so to speak. What's your uh, What's your take on shooting out lights? That's a really good segue. Um, okay, it's really complicated, so most gamers might not be able to keep up right away, but try, okay? All right, ready? Everybody ready? Don't do it. All right, that's it. You got it. Um, you don't want to shoot out lights. Um, if you're going for the perfect hunter achievement, especially uh, if you're playing last stand or face off, you can shoot out as many lights as you can. But if you're or, or if you've been detected, and you just want to survive. Then start shooting out lights. But as you can see on, on our on our screen here, nobody even knows we're here. There's dead bodies everywhere, but nobody knows why or how or, or even that it's happening. They're just they're just dying. They don't know. 
and you want to keep it that way. If you shoot out the light, then boom, they know something's up. They're going to go, like, at first, you're going to think, hey, uh, this is cool. I am invisible in that spot, which I was no longer, like, that was the light, so now you're invisible. So it leads a lot of gamers to think, all right, cool, I will just shoot out that light and I can walk to that area. You don't want to do that. You want to use the natural shadows because, like I was about to say, when you shoot out that light, anybody nearby will then investigate the broken light. And when they see the lights out, they turn on their flashlight. And for some reason, what the game will do is right after they check out the broken light, they're going to instantly investigate where the shot came from. Even if you have a silence, they're going to somehow know where it came from. Meaning that now, instead of just being invisible in one area, one area um, they're now investigating that area with, with, with portable lights, um, and they're closing in on you, which makes your job a lot harder. So keep the lights on, just find a way around them. Preparing to clear the area. One thing you, you want to do, if you're going to be able to, uh, if you're going to take a shot with your gun, you don't have a mark and execute, you're just going to try to, to, to wing it, be sure that you're close enough. And usually, uh, that means being pretty darn close in order to get a headshot, because you want to make sure that you get that headshot and, and put them down with one bullet, because if, it, if you happen to miss, that's going to give them time to be alerted and call in more reinforcements. That's right. Uh, pretty much think of all these AI guys as zombies. All right, hit them in the head, one shot, they go down. Don't go for the torso, don't go for uh, the feet. I don't know why you go for the feet anyways, but just don't. Go for the head. Um, a trick to know if you're close enough is if you mark an, if you have a mark an execute available, but obviously you don't want to waste yeah, it. Sure. I'm about to you know, the odds, could use some help. will turn red. That definitely means you're close enough, unless you completely Ready miss, engage. which means before yes, you start I'm going for the perfect hunters, you might go under the aim. Um, the rule of thumb is three shots. If you're going to take a bit of a riskier, riskier uh, time shot. Oh, motherfucker. Oh. All right. I'm not going to talk. The guy bashed the door on me. He walked right past me. Um, and now he's dead. So that guy obviously did not have proper training. <laughs> what, what, what were we saying before that guy just opened the door in my face? <laughs> oh, right. Shooting people in the head. Yeah. Um... The rule of thumb, if you're going to take a bit of a riskier shot, three shots max, all right? You don't want to just have a pow because your reticle will spread. Take one shot, two shot, three shot. If you have not killed him by the third shot, make sure you're in cover because he will then turn his flashlight on and look in your direction. You might still be able to get away with it because uh, he will investigate where the shot came from. If you can get close enough, you can hand to hand him and then it was just a bad dream and it all goes away. Um, if you don't want to go for the fourth shot, on the fourth shot, he's going to have his flashlight at you and he's going to be shooting back. The very second that, uh, that, that the enemy shoots, as soon as they fire, um, it's over. You, you've been detected, so you got to restart. Else you're going for perfect hunt, of course. I'm ready to clear the area. Archer. Having problems finding these, uh, now. this last guy. 